Hawaii. Bali from Palau. Hula from Fiji. Hafade from Guam, Mariana Islands. Yorana from Tahiti. Kiora from New Zealand. Kia Yorana from the Cook Islands. Malawale from the Kingdom of Tonga. And Talofa from the islands of Samoa. Well, it's good to see everybody back here on the School Talk Story with Dr. T and the Ukulele Dad programs. Glad to see everybody here. And again, my name is Dr. T, also known as Ukulele Dad or sometimes known as Victor. <laughs> but it's good to see everybody. And before we get going with our Ukulele class, I want to share a few announcements with you. So everybody hang in there. <laughs> But it's good to get these out of the way early, then we can start our class together. But look around for your music, or if you can't find it, look here on the Ukulele Dad Facebook page. All right. But here we go, everybody. We are going to, first of all, take a look at the N Pine Facebook page of the National Pacific Islander Education Network, also known as N Pine. And look at this. We have a new picture. This was our first in-person in annual conference, education conference in four years. So very nice to see everybody. These were our students' winners. Also, we had some adults that won service awards. Yep, it was just fantastic, everybody, to see everybody there and to get to know all of you out there. And we had over 180 students in person, and then 49 were virtual. But let me announce this. I was very honored to receive <clears throat> from Congresswoman Michelle Steele this award. I was named a Pacific Islander Person of Distinction for the Asian and Pacific Islander Heritage Month in May. Imagine that. So, again, it was good to meet everyone. Thank you, Lakewood City Council, for nominating me. And thank you. It was good to meet Zek Haudegi, who was the representative for, for Congresswoman Michelle Steele. And thank you, Judy, for again coming and being part of the ceremony. Now, I also want to show here from on our Facebook page, California Credit Union is having a holiday toy drive, November 1st through December 16th. Now, I was at the credit union in Downey. I didn't see any toys. <laughs> so, so everybody, again, look around. If you'll notice here on our Facebook page, there are many places to look at here in the Los Angeles area. Also, the credit union has branches in San Diego. They're also known as the North Island Credit Union. Yeah, I hear LAUSD has one there too. So again, if you don't have the California Credit Union in your region, please donate toys, etc., to a charity near you. All right, that's us. So let us go here to our e-news for the this week. <clears throat> And I did mention the annual conference, so I think um, you can read more about that on our website as well. I'll show that to you in a minute. But congratulations to Judge Johnny Gogo. Johnny is a member of the Northern California chapter of N Pine, a longtime supporter. He was recently nominated by President Joe Biden to serve as the United States Attorney for Guam and the Commonwealth of the Northern Mariana Islands. Isn't that fantastic? Yeah. So congratulations to you, Judge Johnny. <clears throat> and we will, again, keep our fingers crossed for you and have positive thoughts that uh, you will be confirmed by the Senate. Now, coming up next week is the Lesona Ukulele class at the Ohana Hawaiian Barbecue on November the 21st. So come on out if you're in the LA area, everybody. We'd like to see you. Our next Ohana night is on Thursday, December 14th, and we have been inviting a lot of people to come. So I hope we have more people, because some people say, oh, yeah, we'll be there, <laughs> and then they don't show up. <laughs> oh, anyway, what are you going to do? <clears throat> um, 
continue to work on Maui Strong. Ann Pine will be announcing soon our donation to the School of Education there. So we'll be announcing that pretty soon. Paul was looking for educators to be on LA Island Radio with David Brown. Good to see you at the annual conference. And friends, again, make sure you're getting your um, vaccines. I just got the shingles. I got the flu. I'm going to get this other one. I think it's called RSV, something like that. Plus, I'm going to get the new COVID boosters. Everybody, make sure you're up to date because it's winter, and this is when the disease kind of gets out of control out there. <laughs> okay. But we want to, again, remind you, if you join in Pine, you're eligible for a scholarship from Grand Canyon University. And it was good to see, um, <clears throat> again, they were at the annual conference, so good to see you. The Jalen Petticord is your contact there. We'll be participating in Giving Tuesday. So again, be on the lookout for that because you can give to Giving Tuesday and also become a member of NPI. All right, so that's enough on all that. But let me share with all of you. Yeah, let me... Um, move out of this picture here. So. And sometimes when I have these pictures in the back, you can't see. <laughs> but we have several birthdays that have occurred recently. And let me share those with you. We have Ishelle Gill Stanford, Compton High School Assistant Principal. Aloha to you, Ishelle. Ishelle has been one of our active M Pine members for years. And also our Malele Faleono, who is an N Pine member and a member of our staff. So get ready, you two. Here's your birthday song. Okay, here we go. Hey, was that a good birthday song or what? <laughs> All right, everybody. Let me see what else before we get out of here. <clears throat> hmm. Let me see here. Let, let me go to our N Pine um, Facebook, no, not Facebook, website. Yeah, there's too many pages there. You get mixed up. <laughs> All right, but let me just show you a few things here and then um, we will move on to ukulele class. So let's see if I don't, I keep losing the picture here. So this is again npien.com. That is our NPine website. But here, take a look at that. And here's some scenes from our annual conference there. So take a look at uh, all of these pictures. We have Paramount High School. Jordan Dominguez and Paramount High Schools posed together there. Nice groups. And these are board member from Long Beach City College, Vivian Malaulu, and Yesenia Cuarenta from the Paramount Unified School District. Great to see you too. Also, here's Dr. Lauren Bowman in the back teaching the ukulele class. Yeah, so they had a nice class there. And these are our students from Dominguez High School. And this is the list of all of our Christina Diaz Scholar Award winners. Yeah, sorry, Malia. Malia, your name is kind of in the dark there. <laughs> yeah, we'll work on that. Again, we had many award winners from all over, from Los Angeles, from Palau in the Pacific, Orange County, Hawaii, or else from our Channel Coast chapter in Ventura County, Northern California, and even in North Carolina. So it was fantastic. And then these were our educator, counselor, and community award winners. So again, friends, take a look at our website to get, get more information on that. We're also working on updating our conference report. So you can take a look at this too. And um, we will soon put our new picture up here as well. Well, let me see, what else do we have here on our website? I think that's probably enough for today. But good, everybody. We again appreciate you taking a look at all that information. Now, 
It is time, friends, for ukulele class. All right. So let us go to that. And no more announcements. <laughs> oh, my. But um, <clears throat> here we go. For ukulele class today, the first song we're going to learn is... Let me see. Yeah, Te Manu Pukarua. So that is a song from Tahiti. And again, Ia Yorana, all of our friends in Tahiti, in Bora Bora, and everywhere in French Polynesia. That's who we are highlighting today. So this is a song in, again, in the Tahitian language. So this will be fun to learn for our ukulele class. It is called Te Manu Pukarua. So hopefully you found that in your um, <clears throat> in the Facebook page there for Ukulele Dad. But we have several chords, and again, the chords are where we put our fingers down here that we're going to learn today. So let me share those with you. And again, if you're just starting out today, we strum, and this means we go down, up, down, up. That is a strum, down, up. That means one strum, but we strum with the right hand. I normally use my thumb, but you can use your thumb, finger, several fingers. That's up to you. And then we use our left hand to put on the string. So each of the sections of the ukulele is called a fret. And this is finger number one, finger number two, finger number three, and finger number four. Ah, okay. So one, two, three, and four. That's kind of how you put your fingers down there. And fret one, two, three, and four. Okay. So let's try strumming. You don't need to use your fingers on this one. This is called the C6 chord. Okay. Good job, everybody. All right. <clears throat> now. So let us take a look at our chords for today. And a chord means, again, where you put your fingers. So our first one is called the C7 chord. That is the name of the chord. And if you look up at the top, there are four strings. The one closest to us is called the G string or string number one. And the next one is called the C string or string number two. Then we have the E string or string number three. And then we have the A string or string number four. And I also just sang for you, those are what we call the notes. So that's how, that's what the notes are for each of those strings. So very interesting in ukulele. <laughs> so you'll notice here for our C7 chord, our first finger is on fret one. String number four, also known as the A string, okay. So let's try it. First finger is on string four, fret one. Hey, you're playing ukulele. Good, so that is the C7. Then our next one is the F, so you use two fingers on this. So your first finger is on string three. And your second finger is on string one. This is fret one and fret two, everybody. Okay. okay. All right. So let's try the F again. First finger, string three. Second finger, string one. That was a little flat. Yeah, that's better. Okay, here we go. First finger, string three. Second string one, F. Just play the F, everybody. And then our final one, we usually call this one the triangle because it looks like a triangle there. It's called the G7. First finger is on string three. Second finger is on string two. Third finger is on string four. It forms a triangle, everybody. Okay. So again, first finger, string three. Second finger, string two third finger string four. That is the triangle, everybody. All right. So we are going to be playing again. 
the C7, the F, and the G7 for this song, Te Manu Pukarua. Okay. So hopefully you've heard this one before, but hey, you'll be learning it now. So this song is about the Manu, which means the bird. And the Manu is from the village of Pukarua. So this bird knows where all the fish are. So everybody kind of follows the bird, okay? And let me see, what else do we have in here? Nope, I think that's about it, everybody. So do your best on this one. This song is uh, pretty, not too complicated. So here we go. So we start off with G7 and C7 and F. All right, let's try it. One, two, here we go. G7, C7, F. One more time. G7, 2, C7, 2, F, 2, 2. Te manu pukarua, e rua puka manu. Te manu pukarua, e rua puka manu. Te manu pukarua, e C7. E rua puka manu, e F. Get ready for this part. Whenever we say po po po, we go ha ta po po po. So that's why there's three three ones next to each other. It's strum one, strum one, and strum one. So that's what that means there. All right, you did very good on that song. Good work. Now our next song that we're gonna learn is very important for <laughs> Thanksgiving. And that is Albuquerque is a turkey. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Very important song. So, yep. Uh, next week, we will not have our normal meeting because it is Thanksgiving. And I will be running like a turkey there in the Thanksgiving turkey trot in the city of Torrance, California. So, look forward to seeing everybody. Yeah. Hopefully, I'll see John out there. Who else is out there? <laughs> yeah. A lot of you are out there. But um, this song, let me see, we have the G7 chord as part of this song. So again, G7, so the triangle, okay. And then we have some other chords here we're gonna learn. So two more. So the first one is one of our favorites called the C chord, okay. And the C chord, we put our third finger on string number four. Okay, so third finger on string number four. Here we go. And that's fret three. Yep, third finger, string four, fret three. That is C. All right, you did it. And now our final chord is a little more complicated. So we're going to teach you the simple D7, and then we'll teach you the complicated D7. So here's the simple one, everybody. Notice that your first finger is on string one and your second finger is on string three. So fret two. So first finger string one, second string three, fret two. 
That is E7 simple. Good. And then if you're really motivated, everybody, <laughs> you can do the D7 complicated is what we call it. So your first finger goes all the way across fret two. Second finger is on string four, okay? So again, first finger all the way across uh, string number two or fret number two. Second finger is on string four. Good. So again, you can do the complicated version or the simple version. Whatever works for you, everybody. So let me see this song. We start off with the, I'll, I'll play the simple version for everybody. So we have D7, 2, G7, 2, C, 2, 3, 4. One more time. D7, 2, G7, 2, C, 2, 3. Albuquerque is a turkey and he's feathered and he's fine. Albuquerque is a turkey. And he's absolutely mine. He's the best pet you can get yet. Better than a dog or cat. And he wobbles and he gobbles. And he's awfully proud of that. Albuquerque is a turkey. And he's happy in his bed. Because for Thanksgiving Day. Good job. So yeah, th those were again good songs and uh, not too difficult because um, one of them was a beginner song and the other one more of what we call an intermediate song. But keep on a practicing, everybody. You can do it. We know you can. All right. Now it is time for self care talk story, everybody. So, and then we're going to play some songs for you too. But let me see here. <clears throat> Our first self-care that I wanted to talk about is related to the topic of service, everybody. So here we go. This is the time where we do our stretching. We get nice and stretched. And then we do our breathing through the stomach. Breathe in and out. And in again and out. So please reflect on the following that I'm going to share with you about service, everybody. Now, there are many what we call service jobs out there. And not all of these jobs are the most glamorous. Maybe some are not as desirable. Yet, many of these jobs are very essential to the well-being of our society. And we should be grateful to all of them who help us. So let me say again, some of these jobs, and I think sometimes we take for granted all that they do, but um, so let's say you work in a restaurant, for example, or a supermarket. Perhaps you are a bus driver, or you deliver the newspaper. And speaking of tough jobs, being in the military is a very tough job, but sometimes we take that for granted too. So ask yourself, what can we do to again express gratitude to those that are in these difficult jobs? Well, for some of these jobs, you leave a tip. So maybe leave a bigger one. And then it's always nice to send a note or a text or an email of gratitude to them, to thank them for what they do. I know with our friends in the military, we recently um, commemorated the Veterans Day. But here in the city of Lakewood, California, where I live, we were, we received some, um, what do we call them? Postcards, that's it. We received some postcards to write a message. So I, I had a big stack of them. I was writing and writing. <laughs> but that's something that you can all do, everybody. 
All right. Now, our next song is, yeah, we're going to dedicate this one to service and also to our veterans. And this one comes to us written by Woody Guthrie. And this is a pretty good one to learn, too, because we have the F chord, the C chord, and the G7 chord. Not bad. All right. Here we go, everybody. <clears throat> This land is your land, this land is my land, from California to the New York Island, from the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters. This land was made for you and me, as I was walking that ribbon of highway. veterans but also for everyone out there who serves all of us here we appreciate you now i've got one more thought i want to share with you and then we're going to slow it down with a song from walt disney yep some of you may have heard of walt disney <laughs> but um <clears throat> today's uh, topic is called time all right so i want you to think about that time so basically what this says is the following. Time is all the capital um, stock on the earth. So if you think about that in terms of money, you said, wow, okay. If property you if properly used, it brings that which will add to your comfort, your convenience. And your satisfaction. So they're not talking about money here. They're talking about time. So let us consider this and no longer sit with our hands folded, wasting time. <laughs> so ask yourself the following. Do we waste time? And um, do we do too much with the time that we have? Or do we have time for everything? So next week, we will discuss how to better plan your time, everybody. But that is it. Again, time is all of the capital stock that we need here, everybody. More valuable than money. Yeah, amazing. <laughs> all right. Well, here is a song I think kind of helps us to reflect on time and helped us to reflect on our dreams. Here we go. And this is from Walt Disney's Cinderella, written by Mac David, Al Hoffman, and Jerry Livingston. So here we go, everybody. A dream is a wish your heart makes. to sleep in dreams you will lose your heartaches whatever you wish for you keep have faith 
in your dreams and someday your rainbow will come smiling through no matter how your heart is grieving if you keep on believing the dreams that you wish will come true a dream is a wish your heart makes when you're fast asleep in dreams you will lose your heartaches Whatever you wish for, you keep. Have faith in your dreams, and someday your rainbow will come smiling through. No matter how your heart is screaming, if you keep on believing, the dreams that you wish will come true. No matter how your heart is grieving, if you keep on believing, the dreams that you wish will come true. Mahalo, friends. Keep on a dreaming out there. Yep, a dream is a wish. Well, I'm going to share one more thing with you, and then we're going to finish up with our closing aloha song. But thank you so much for joining us here on this show. But the final thing I want to share with you, yeah, I think I need to go to the our Facebook page here one more time. So hang in there with us, everybody. <laughs> Yeah, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> okay, here we go. But I wanted to, um, again, take a look at um, something related to student attendance. So that'll be our final thought for today. And we are very pleased. We have been working on developing what we call the school attendance review team, everybody. <laughs> You said, what does that mean? <laughs> but here it is. Again, this is a group of individuals who are resources to students and families as well as schools. Yeah, imagine that. But we've been sharing with you some statements by Sharma Uma, Karel Lokeni, and also probation officer Rufens. But we have a new member of our team. Her name is Ainga Le Sala, or Sala, they call her. T. Afalava. Yeah, I can barely read. <laughs> Afalava. And she is an M-A-L-M-H-C and a counselor at the New Hope Counseling <clears throat> Organization. But let me share a few things with what she says. Again, she says that school attendance is a very crucial factor in our the academic obsess of students, their overall well-being for all cultures. And when, from a mental health perspective, she shares that regular attendance fosters a sense of routine and belonging, contributing to positive emotional and psychological well-being for young people. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. When you attend school, Again, you get to meet people, you just feel a lot better about what you're doing. And it's especially important for the Native Hawaiian Pacific Islander community because we indeed need a stable environment to engage with peers and educators as found in um, studies in California, Washington, and Oregon. And in California, for example, Native Hawaiian Pacific Islander students have faced challenges in maintaining regular attendance due to socioeconomic factors. Um, 
And also, we need to distress, address disparities through culturally sensitive interventions and support systems, including access to mental health services, so that all students, again, have the equal opportunity to thrive academically and personally. And we're, again, very, very grateful for Sala for joining the school attendance review team and being a part of this group. But here's where you can read more about us. And again, thank you for um, listening to that little commercial there <laughs> about student attendance. Well, let us finish up with our final Aloha song, friends. But again, thanks to all of you for joining us today. We appreciate it very much. And do us a favor, take some Aloha out there to the world from French Polynesia from Tahiti. Uh oh, it says that we are offline. What did they do to us? <laughs> Very interesting. Yeah. Okay. But anyways, hopefully they'll catch up with us. But um, again, do all that you can to uh, spread some aloha to the world because it is so very important. Yeah, I don't know what happened. We were offline there. Very interesting. Friends, again, have a great week. Let me share with you our final closing slide and then we will share the uh, final aloha song to all of you. Yep, everybody keep up the good work out there. I know you're you're doing your very best to help others, and we appreciate that. So I think this might be our final slide. It is. So this says, see you next Thursday, but we won't be here because of Thanksgiving, everybody. I'll be running the turkey trot. <laughs> so take a week off, and we'll see you on the 30th. And as was announced earlier, we have our Ohana night here in the greater Los Angeles area on December 14th. And then um, next Tuesday, again, in the greater Los Angeles in Lakewood at the Ohana Hawaiian Barbecue, we have our Lesona ukulele class. So that will be Tuesday, November 21st. Wow, that's the night before Thanksgiving. <laughs> oh, no, it's a couple nights before. At 6 p.m., again, we will um, offer your ukulele class. All right, everybody, here we go. Aloha from Hawaii. Adios from Guam and the Mariana Islands. Aloha from the Kingdom of Tonga. Aireira from the Cook Islands. Aloha to Dr. Nick. Aireira from New Zealand. Aotearoa. My wife and daughter were there. Kakwe from the Marshall Islands. Meiku from Palau. of Samoa. Again, everybody, have a pleasant day. Aloha to all of you and Yorana from French Polynesia. Take care, everybody. Thanks for coming.